okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to talk about you know 3d formulas in excel this is nothing new i mean in terms of the concept uh, it's been with us for a long time even before the advent of you know dynamic arrays we've always had 3d formulas uh, so you're yeah, like okay so victor why exactly do you want to show us this uh, this is based on a question i got asked recently um, based on the solution i came up with i felt it was important to share it with more people that's you know be a nice guy that's why i'm doing this okay so the data here isn't supposed to make sense because it isn't really about the data it's really just more about you know the concept okay so what i have here is i have uh, 10 sheets that are exactly like they're identical so alpha beta gamma all the way to kappa okay so we just have you know five columns of data that's not the important thing okay but across each of them in cell a1 you have maybe the region you know that this particular center belongs to okay so you can see north here you can see east here maybe you see north here maybe you see there should be south so the south somewhere okay finally there is south okay and that's in cell a1 and then in cell b1 we have you know maybe i'll say the number of subunits you have within that center okay so you see different numbers across right so now I've come here to my summary sheet and I want to get, you know, like a sum of all those subunits, which is more or less like summing up um, all of cells B1 across all the sheets. Very easy. Everybody can do this one. So this is where you use your 3D formulas. The simplest version of it is to use sum. Okay. And then you select the first sheet. Maybe in this case, alpha, you hold shift, right? You select the last one, kappa. Okay. And I select, you know, the cell. So basically I'm saying sum, you know, everything from alpha to kappa, you know, cell B1 across all those sheets. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Right. So, and this gets it done. The beautiful thing is that if you insert a sheet in between alpha and kappa, that's also going to be captured. Okay. So that's the easy one and everybody can do this one. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is not why I came here, but I decided to show that first. Now the next one, it says, okay, count the number of, you know, cells in B1 that are greater than 10, which is now, you know, saying, okay, how many of my subunits, you know, have, you know, more than 10, you know, uh, centers, so to say. Okay. So now in my head, I'm like, yeah, why not? I just do a count if, you know, same thing, go to alpha, you know, go to kappa, select, you know, this, that's my range. And then in terms of criteria, I say greater than 10. Well, the result surprises you, but not me, right? Because count ifs don't work with 3D formulas. I'm like, okay, neither does, you know, as in sum if, sum if the conditionals don't work. Here, if you are dealing with like sum, if you change this to, let's say max, okay, that works. You know, you could, you could have used average as well, you know average works okay but once you get into the realm of conditionals you know then you know you start to have a problem so what can we do about this count if okay so that's one the other one was to count the number of cells in a1 you know that were in the south you know which is kind of similar to the real question i was asked okay so Obviously, I can't use count if, so I needed to come up with a different, you know, approach. And this is what I came up with, and I would love to see, of course, what your own solutions are to this problem. What I did was to, first of all, use a VStack, because I know VStack works with, you know, uh, 3D references. So I said, okay, let me do, uh, maybe not this one first, let me do this one, where I count the number of cells in A1 that are in the south. But it's the same idea, fundamentally. Okay, so I'll do a VStack. Okay. And then I select alpha, I hold my shift, select kappa, I select the cell I'm interested in. Okay, so this is like saying stack, you know, everything in A1 from alpha to kappa. Okay, good. And now I see that I have all of them. Okay, so I can easily compare. Are these in the south? Okay, so this is more a true or false, rather than doing a count if. And once I have that, you know, I can convert the booleans to, you know, numbers by doing something like this. Okay, good. And then I can sum that up. So I'm basically using a sum. Yeah, that's what happens most times when you type too fast. You know, I'm using a sum in place of a count if. Okay. And now I have the answer. So I can apply the same thing, you know, here. You know. So if you think about that, the first thing is to do a V stack. So you take this, this, and then you select this cell. Okay. So that's that. Now you're testing if they are what? Greater, you know, than 10. And you put a sum here and just multiply the result by one okay and 
and you have the answer. So that's how you know you can bypass the challenge of having uh, you know count if not work with 3D from Lasso. That was my solution. So what is yours? I'd love to see it. But for now, I want you to like this video, share it with your friends, also subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. For now, I'm out.